Good morning, guys. Good morning. I'm Shonda, your self-development coach and spiritual mentor, and I inspire nations to grow. So if you're new today, go ahead and click that subscribe button and bell notification so that we can stay connected. And if you always turn it on, because you know I absolutely love you. Listen, I want you to help me grow this community so we can raise the level of vibrational frequency on the planet. And of course, I am here to awaken you in your consciousness. Well, on this Wednesday, Wednesday, I just want to step in to say that I am so glad that I know that my provider, my infinite intelligence, my creator, my God is for me and that I don't want for anything. I want you to know on this Wisdom Wednesday today that your creator is for you and that you don't have to want for a thing. See, God is my shepherd and I shall not want. God is your shepherd and you shall not want. A lot of times we get caught up all the time in just daily routines, things that have been strategically placed to keep us distracted so that we feel that we don't have our needs met. We feel that we should have more things, but we forget that we have the power to create all things because of the creator being our shepherd and we surely, surely do not want. See, when you realize that you operate from a state of abundance, then you realize that nothing is really separate from you. You understand that anything that you feel that you that you want or that you desire is already yours. See, as a faith walker and not just a faith talker, that means that I actually put faith in motion. See, it also says in the word that faith without action is dead faith. You know, you can just feel or you can sit there and talk about it all you want, but until you actually put faith in motion, it cannot work for you. I am here to remind you today that the God is your shepherd and you, you shouldn't want for anything. I'm here to awaken you right now today on this Wisdom Wednesday in your consciousness to let you know that you have the power. You have the power as a supernatural prototype of the living God to call things into motion into your reality today. I'm here today to let you know that there's nothing separate from what you want because you already have it. I'm here to also let you know that if you could think about it, no matter how big and outrageous or outlandish it is, that you have the power within your grip, within your spiritual frequency to match it and it display itself to you. I'm here to let you know that you have been totally brainwashed and that things have been strategically put in place to make you feel that what you want ain't real. But I'm here to let you know that everything that you experienced experience today or have experienced today all began with a simple thought. As above, so below. As within, so without. And I'm here to let you know that you are made of the same frequency, the same intelligence, the same thing that's in the thing that you say that you want, that you're unaware that you already have. So I'm here today to remind you to put on your spiritual boots. I'm here today to remind you to put your spiritual cap on. I'm here today to remind you to activate the frequency of the wish fulfilled in your heart. I'm here today to remind you to keep your thoughts on a higher vibrational plane so that you can meet God. I am here today to remind you that your shepherd says that you shall not want. I'm here today to remind you that you already have whatever it is that you feel that you're separate from. And I'm here today to encourage you to buy into the idea that whatever it is that you feel that you want, whatever it is that you feel is so far away, whatever it is that you feel is only there for someone else, the reason why you don't have it is because that is what you feel. I'm here today to brainwash you in a good way and awaken you in your consciousness to let you know that when you change your ideal beliefs and when you change the core of your heart and when you feel that you have just a smidgen of a chance or just a mustard seed faith 
then you begin to change your outside circumstance and you will live in a dream because the Lord is your shepherd and you shall not want. And until the next video, guys, peace. Bye now.